Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. How are you? Happy Friday. I'm so glad it's the weekend. I wanted to talk to you today about May of the Moderns, a readathon in May hosted by Margaret Pennard, who, of course, I will link down below. Now, this readathon is got my name written all over it. It is reading modern novels, modern books from 1901 to 1945 is the dates that Margaret has sort of set as the as the time frame that we will be reading in. However, I do have a couple books that may fall just outside of those date ranges, but you know me, I like to play a little fast and loose with the rules sometimes, so I'm sure Margaret won't be mad. Do check out Margaret's channel for the readathon. She's got so many fun things going on. She's got a spreadsheet to sign up for buddy reads if you want to do a buddy read. So if you are, especially if you're a person that doesn't have a booktube channel or you're a person who wants to do a buddy read but never quite knew how to how to get one started, this might be a really fun way for you to do a buddy read with somebody to read a modern novel. She's also doing giveaways and she's got fun prompts. I forgot to write the prompts down. I just realized when I said that, that I did not write down the prompts. So I'm, I'll show you what I'm planning to read and I will, I will link, I'll, I'll, I'll list the prompts down below. I can't believe I was not prepared uh, to talk about those because I'm also a little lazy when it comes to prompts sometimes. So let's get started. I wanted to do my TBR today and I was waiting because I ordered one book that I was hoping would get here before I film my TBR and it hasn't. I just got tracking information today so I don't think it's going to make it here in the next week. So I thought I would just tell you what that book is. It is Greenery Street by Dennis McHale. It was published in 1925, so it fits well within our time frame here. And it is, I bought a Persephone copy, the one of the green, uh, green, blue, <laughs> gray, gray Persephone editions that I just love. I bought it on A Books and it said it was like new. So we will see. I've been... I've been burned by that before, but not on Abe. So hopefully it will be a beautiful new edition. I hope it has the bookmark. Those Persephone's usually, if they're new, come with a bookmark. And I was thinking since it's technically used, it might be missing the bookmark, but we'll see. So Greenery Street by Dennis McHale is the tale of two newlyweds in London in the 20s. And I've just heard wonderful things about it. I'm actually doing a buddy read of this one. So that that book is gonna be top of my priority list for reading for May of the Moderns. Then next, I and I shared this in my last video, I also bought um, The English Air. Oh, and you know what? This is the buddy read. Greener Street is not a buddy read. My friend Gina has already read Greener Street. So I am doing the buddy read of this one. My brain today, I tell you. Um, this is The English Air by D.E. Stevenson. And this is one of the Dean Street Press editions. I think this is one of their new releases. Did I see this one? Um, doesn't have a it doesn't have a reprint date on it, but it was originally published in 1940. So this definitely falls right into our time frame. And Dee Stevenson is one of my favorite authors. She wrote Miss Bunkle's book and a lot, a lot of the, the light stories. Um, some of them have a little bit of a bite, but they're, they're on the pretty light side. Uh, so I'm super excited to do a buddy read of this. This is a, a definite. Now, next is The Enchanted April. I was gonna read this this month. This is by Elizabeth von Arnhem. And this is a reread for me, although it's been years now since I've read it. And I'm going to also watch the movie because there's a wonderful adaptation. If you haven't seen the movie adaptation of this movie, watch it, especially if it's rainy or wintry in spring where you are, because it's 
April in London is the opening scene and it's raining and it's drizzly and they decide to go to a castle in Italy for a month. And so I was gonna read this this month, but the month got away from me a little bit and I figured instead of starting this now, I'm gonna read the sentence by Louise Erdrich. I wanna start on that one and read that this month. And so I'm gonna put this one on for May of the Moderns because this was originally published in, oh gosh, uh, 1922. So, Again, right in that time frame. Then I also thought I would reach out for some Virginia Woolf, A Room of One's Own. I've read this before too. This is going to be a reread. So a couple of rereads so far. This was published in 1929. I love this sort of weird cover. This edition's got some, some writing in it, but for whatever reason, I just, I really love this. And I haven't read it for a long time. So I'm going to do a reread of that. Also going to try to do a reread of The Wind in the Willows and The Hobbit because these have been two that I keep talking about that I have not read in the last year since I started my channel. So The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham and The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I, I want to do rereads of these, but because they're rereads, they might get bumped to the bottom of the pile. We'll see how this goes. Um, on the definite pile is a mystery, The Crime at Black Dudley by Marjorie Allingham, the first Albert Campion mystery. And this one was published, this must be right in the golden age because this is um, from 1929. So I'm excited. I don't think I've read any Marjorie Allingham mysteries before. So this, I'm super excited to read. These have all been on my shelves except for... This one, I've owned all of these for quite some time. And then lastly, I do want to do a, a read. This is also a reread, but it's been a long, long time since I've read this one. I'm not sure why I'm doing so many rereads this month. Maybe just because I'm feeling like I want to read some things that I know are going to be comforting and easy. So this is With Malice Towards Some by Margaret Halsey. And this is The Travel Diary of a, a, professor, a Professor's Wife. Um, Margaret Halsey is the wife of a young PhD who went to England on an exchange professor professorship. And this just looks, I mean, it starts with May 30th. Getting married was nothing. I had the German measles on my wedding day and a raging temperature so that I married, I was married under forced draft, as it were, and afterwards I went back to bed and opened a fresh box of Kleenex. <laughs> Just, I think this is going to be very, very fun um, to, to reread. I don't remember it at all. I'm not even sure, actually, now that I picked this up, I'm not actually even sure that I've read this one. Um, if I have, it's been a really, really long time. Um, so... This is my pile minus the Greenery Street um, from Persephone that I am awaiting eagerly to arrive from Abe Books. And I've got to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven if I count The Hobbit, eight if I count Greenery Street. So eight on a TBR. That's pretty doable, I think, for all books that I'm very, very excited to read. So I think I should not have any problem getting through all of these. Eight is a pretty average number for me. Sometimes I do more, sometimes I do less, but I just want to enjoy my reading and not worry too much about the quantity. But there are some really fun books that I want to make sure to read in April. So what are you planning to read in April, in May? In May 2022, this is May, this is 2022. <laughs> what are you planning to read in May? Are you planning to read any May of the Moderns books? If so, let me know what you're going to be reading. I'm really interested to hear what everybody's picking up because I love the modern era, um, that early 1900s, 1950s. I love. Also, I realized when I was looking through some of my books I wanted to read, like um, Barbara Pym and Dee Stevenson, they actually wrote 
quite far into the 20th century. So even though they were in what I felt like was that modern era, they they really wrote into a lot of them into the 70s. And I think Barbara Pym even did some books in the 80s. So, um, so those didn't really qualify officially, which is why I didn't pick up a lot of those, but um, I do have my beautiful Moody D. E. Stevenson book, which I'm very excited about. Um, all right, so I will talk to you next time. Have a great weekend. Bye.